A police undercover sting called Operation Cartoon has put a drugs kingpin, nicknamed Mario, after the video game character, behind bars for 25 years. Iki Yarasur, known for his likeness to Nintendo's iconic plumber, was seen by officers from GMP's serious and organized crime group make a rendezvous with an articulated truck with a Turkish registration plate. He was then watched leading it to an industrial unit on Cobden Street, Pendleton, Salford. A few hours later, police raided the unit and found 210 kilograms of high-purity heroin with a street value of 63 million pounds, the largest haul in quantity and value of the drug seized in GMP history. It was hidden in furniture. Yet during a trial at Manchester Crown Court, Yarasser, who had previous drug convictions, claimed he was only involved in the heroin importation to gather intelligence and become a police informant. The discovery came after surveillance officers observed a number of interactions between a group of criminals, including a cash deal between Stephen Hindley and David Mulligan, which was later used to purchase a forklift truck. At the point of unloading, Yarasser was met by Amit Taskin and together they moved the cargo of furniture into the unit. While it was unattended, officers entered the unit and found 42 tables in a side room, which they broke open to find a void between the top and underside, revealing 10 by 500 gram bags containing heroin. All 42 tables were checked for drugs, bringing the seizure to 210 kilograms of heroin. On the same day, officers from the same operation entered a lockup in Rill, Wales, rented by Stephen Hindley, near to where David Mulligan was captured on CCTV. Officers discovered equipment set up for a bash house, a place where drugs can be diluted with other substances to increase value and onward supply, which included a hydraulic press for compressing drugs into bespoke fabricated molds. Inquiries also revealed Mulligan and Yarasser met Hindley at the location just one week before and that a logistics man, called Brian Kennedy, had been drafted in to help the group import the drugs through his company. Kennedy opened a business called Freight Forward Limited, but on his arrest, officers found him to have only one customer, Fikri, Mario, Yarasser. Financial checks showed large amounts of money moving through the bank account of Catherine Firon to Freight Forward Limited over several months, linked to imports for Yarasser. Firon and her partner Paul Livesey were used as mules to transport money to Turkey on several occasions, a few days at a time, taking large amounts of cash with them and returning to the UK with significantly lighter luggage. Firon and Livesey officers worked out that the missing weight was the cash they were spending, which totaled around £372,500, all on behalf of Yarasser. Once in custody, Taskin was the only person to plead guilty at the earliest possible time, the rest of the group denied the charges sparking a seven-week trial. Yarasser attempted to claim that he was only involved with his fellow defendants to gain intelligence and become a police informant. This was dismissed by an officer he was known to, who said in no uncertain terms did Yarasser attempt to give any information to police at any time. During the trial, it was revealed Yarasser had been convicted in Germany in 1997 for importing heroin from Turkey. He served 10 years in prison and was barred from the country, despite his efforts to let others take the rap for his crimes. On Monday, the crime group behind the heroin operation were jailed for a total of more than 110 years at Manchester Crown Court. Yarasser, 53, of Burlington Street, Glossop was jailed for 25 years, David Mulligan, 27, of no fixed address, received 17 years, Amit Taskin, 45, of Burlington Street, Glossop received 13 and a half years, and Stephen Hindley, 28, of Mays Gwyn, Kinmel Bay, Rill, was handed 15 years. All were convicted of conspiracy to supply Class A drugs. Yarasser and Taskin were also convicted of conspiracy to import Class A drugs. Brian Kennedy, 37, of Gallacher Avenue, Fife, was jailed for 18 years, Paul Livesey, 46, of Abbey Hay Lane, Openshaw, Manchester, for 15 years, Catherine Firon, 34, of Abbey Hay Lane, Openshaw, 9 years. Livesey, Kennedy, and Firon were found guilty of conspiracy to import Class A drugs.
Detective Inspector Lee Griffin, of GMP's serious and organized crime group, said, The lengths this group went to to try and conceal the drugs, cover their tracks and evade police capture, would have been impressive had they not failed at simple hurdles like leaving fingerprints and traceable bank transfers. Drugs, in particular heroin, have a detrimental effect on the communities that the majority of people work so hard to uphold and ruin the lives of those most vulnerable and their families. We are constantly building a better picture of illicit activity in those who profess to be sophisticated criminals and will continue to do everything in our power to find those who attempt to make a profit from putting others in harm's way. Got a story or an issue you want us to investigate? Want to tell us about something going on where you live? Let us know, in complete confidence, by emailing newsdeskofmen-news.co.uk, calling us on 0161-211-2323, tweeting us at menewsdesk or messaging us on our Facebook page. You can also send us a story tip using the form here. Join the Manchester Evening News Breaking News Facebook group for a place to read and talk about breaking news in Greater Manchester.